everyone. I'm Courtney Revolution. I'm Savannah Palacio, and welcome to The, the Homecoming, Homecoming Queens. Queens. <laughs> Each week on The Homecoming Queens, we have one of our friends from the reality TV universe. Uh, come and let us know what it's like to be on a reality TV show. Come off of that show and have everyone, that's you guys, know their name. Every episode of the Homecoming Queen podcast is available to watch and listen on our brand new YouTube page. Rate, review, and subscribe. You know what to do. Bam. 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 All right. Anyway. Today's guest is the iconic and legendary Harry Jowsey, and you guys may know him from a few of Netflix's biggest shows, like Too Hot to Handle, and of course, and of course, of course, and of course, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, a floor is lava, and uh, we want to know more about him because he has us gagging. Uh, yeah, but first, me and Savannah need to get into the TTT between us. Now, Harry girl. has you gagging? Yeah. Well, not like, not like, <laughs> not like in shock, not because of my throat chakra. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Stop. Interesting. We're You're not, not the only Netflix girly Netflix. that he has gagged, apparently. Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for Harry to come in. I have a lot of important questions for him. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. But hmm. first, first, I wanted to ask you. Hey, girl. How was your weekend? <laughs> I saw you a little bit. Oh, you know. My weekend was cute. You did see me a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I, I needed to emphasize the little bit. Why Why was it a little bit, Savannah? <laughs> you told me, Courtney. <laughs> why was it a little bit? Okay, listen. There were two events. <laughs> <laughs> there were two events that we were very excited um, to attend together. Very. One of them I was not invited to officially. That was Miss Neutrogena. Yes. And then the second one was Miss Patron. Very much my brand. I got Patron in my cup. And I don't give a fuck. My... Right here. Oh. Oh. So then. <laughs> All right, Esther Dean. So then I, <laughs> I woke up and I realized that I had a few things that I needed to do errand wise, like a couple of mm. life things I needed okay. to do. Um, and so I missed Miss Neutrogena. It's okay. Unfortunately. But I did make it to the Patron party. I had to stop at uh, our good Judy Mike's house. Yes. <laughs> because we were bringing Mike's friend, Arise. Um, as yes. well. Which I met. We met. Yes. We met Arise. You met Arise. I met Arise. Ah! Oh Arise, my God. Arise got to come on the podcast. Gorgeous. 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 It's not Real fair. Real life Arise? supermodel. Stop. Real life supermodel. Stop Arise. Okay. Been in vogue multiple times. Like, Arise, you have Mike. Okay. Leave some for me, please. <laughs> no, leave some for me. <laughs> Silly. Leave a little for me, Arise. I mean, we showed up, but you and our good Judy Lauren Ashley were, y'all were ready to go. I was oh, I was three mixed drinks in Girl. at Patron, and I was at Neutrogena like the three hours prior. Did they have drinks at Neutra? They most definitely did. Oh, I had a couple April spritz. <gasps> okay, yeah. It, okay, Miss Neutrogena, I won't miss y'all next time. Neutrogena was fun. They were also giving away Tamagotchis because it was uh, Y2K themed. Wh and so, See, y'all ain't say all of that. Y'all just said Neutrogena. I mean, I'm it, thinking it y'all getting it, face washes. It said on the invite. Y'all ain't send me the invite. Y'all just oh. said come to Neutrogena. Oh, okay. Well, it was Y2K themed. Sorry about that. I would have managed my time a little bit better than that. When do I ever to tell you go to anything boring? You're absolutely right. And also, random, I've gotten back into baking, which I mm. used to do a lot, a lot, a lot. Really? Um, and then I just stopped. But I like, like, weird baking. Like, I made a red velvet cornbread last night. <laughs> what? Yeah. I made, like, a was red. Was it good? It was delicious. It was a red velvet uh, cornbread with, like, a cinnamon cream cheese frosting. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It's I love a good cream cheese frosting. Not going to lie. It was very therapeutic for me. What are you gonna bake, bitch? What are you gonna bake for me? What the fuck, Courtney? It's coming. The podcast. Canceled. The Everybody podcast canceled, isn't Courtney. one yet. Remember, we discussed. Oh, right. We said <laughs> we discussed. Fine, uncancel. Thank <laughs> delete, you. delete. Thank you. The cake is. I'm, I'm practicing. That's all it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. 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 Is that the sound of kangaroo feet a flopping, <laughs> a jumping? Is that a kangaroo pouch a flapping? Are we going to? Australia? Are we going to Australia? 
Is it hot in here or is it just me? I'm Ooh, kind girl, of burning up. The sweat beads. I'm burning up. I'm burning, burning up for you, you baby. baby. Red dress. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was good, right? Nick Jonas, you're shook. Um, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, we have Harry Giles here. Hi, Harry. Hi, how are we doing? Great. Welcome home. Welcome home. Oh, Welcome I like that. Podcast. Yeah. Yeah, oh, come home, good. baby. Wow. <laughs> okay, wait. I, I need to just get into this and get this off my chest right away. Oh, no. Okay, so obviously the three of us, we're all under the Netflix umbrella, right? Yes. And so when I meet people out, just people in general, mm. I always get the like question of like, what's Savannah like? But I always get the have you met Harry Jowsey? Really? Yeah, always. Wow. Harry Jowsey, and then I always you go say I'm a piece my... of shit. No, no. <laughs> I do. I'm just kidding. I, no, no, I don't. No, no, I don't even know you. <laughs> no, I've I... only met Harry like one time, and it was like in passing at dinner. So I... people are like, "How is he?" I'm like, "He's tall." I'm like, he's so tall. That's good. That's like, on, he was about to say something really nice about me. Oh, were I, you? Yeah. <laughs> I, wa- I was. Please go. I met you at the Forever 21 party a year ago. Like yes. right <gasps> when the circle had like come mm-hmm. out. And you didn't know who the hell I was at all. I was there with Jack. I remember um, this. And it was like you and Nathan Chase was there. But out of everyone, you were the only one to come up and like talk to me. And like, oh, like, oh my God, uh-huh. hi. Like, I'm Harry, blah, blah, blah. Like, how are you? And like, blah, blah, blah. And I took uh, took from that and I say that to everyone. I'm like, Harry, nice as fuck. I'm like, because wow. I could have just been, and I still am, just a who the fuck is that. No, you- and I thought that that was really kind that you just were just friendly. Fast mm-hmm. forward to the, the most recent event where I fully couldn't figure out if it was you or not because you didn't have glasses on. <laughs> I almost had a fucking aneurysm because I was just like, is that Courtney? I want to go up and hug him, but I Aww. don't know. And I was like standing over there. I was like, okay, I'm just not going to look at him because if it's like a random guy, he's just going to be like, why the fuck is this dude staring at me? And so you're just battling fight? your demons I inside. was freaking the fuck out. And like, I'm just like twirling in the corner like, whoa. Yeah. Like, oh, everyone's looking at me. I was like, fuck, it really looks like Cody. Like, I don't so want to like funny. go over and embarrass myself. You guys are like that TikTok on this. So Literally, literally. That was what was going in my head. But thank you so much. That's so sweet. I actually remember Courtney telling me about that particular event and telling me that he met you and that you were so nice. I remember like you were really excited about it. I um, was because you just never know what people are going right. to be like. Um, yeah. And of course you have like your negative exp- negative experiences with people. Of course. And that was just one that I took away that I'll be like, oh, well, Harry was nice as hell. And then we like went to dinner at Catch that one time. Yeah. And I always tell people like whatever you think about Harry Jowsey, my experience is he's nice as fuck. End quote. Yeah. And I always say that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate that. I think like because I also push a bit of like an internet persona because I know it's going to like get people engaged and like piss people off like that fuckboy like image and Mm. being like a bit of a piece of shit. I think that's what like even when I meet people like, oh, I thought you were going to be so rude. I was like, bro, why? Like, why would I like what's the point? Like, I don't know. I just feel like this is all like a big dream and you just have to be like fun. I'm actually glad that you bring that up because I don't know like the real Harry Jowsey. Like I said, I met you one time. Time, like at dinner yeah. but you like we weren't even talking to each other and it was a really long time ago I, think I, long. I don't think I've seen you I've seen you in other events no but we were, we did Flores Lava I know but we but, didn't really talk we weren't allowed to talk right yeah like I didn't it's not like we were hanging out you know like outside the trailer, dressing room yeah. like bros uh. like, yeah <laughs> like we were all like stuck like in we're our in own trailers. groups True. Sure, yeah. yeah yeah so like I see you a lot but I think that dinner was pretty chaotic because it was like oh. Chloe's like leaving dinner mm, mm. yeah and then everyone because and I was also beside Jack I think he was getting ready for a fight Mm-hmm. Did he do that? No. I don't think no. he did. But no. Chase is doing that fight. Are you guys yes, going? He is. I don't know. Should I'm go? definitely not going. Wait, are, <laughs> have you ever done a fight? No, I was training for one, uh, but my opponent didn't sign his contract. And, oh. and and I was also just like, for me at that time, I was putting so much negative energy out. And I realized that that's not the person I want to be. Like I was calling him out. I was saying shit about him online. I was doing like all this like crazy shit because I thought we were about to go into a fight. And then the energy that I was putting out started coming back to me. Like the the first time ever I got pulled over. And then as soon as I got pulled over, like there was like a nail in my tire. And I was like, oh, this is the universe telling me to slow down and like shut up. So ever since then, I was just like, okay, like I actually don't 
need to like that's not the path that I'm on. I respect people that can go and do it, but I also think it's kind of corny now. Like unless you want to be a professional boxer, I just think it's kind of just like you right. just you just are trying to do it for a paycheck, and it's mm. I don't know. Like I think it's a little bit played out. Yeah, mm. I agree. So who who is the real Harry Jowsey then? If like you are putting out a persona, mm. or w- was that really you on Too Hot to Handle? I think as you guys know on any reality show, like they you have to play yourself up a little mm-hmm. bit. And then also like every episode was three, like three days for us. Yeah. Mm. So they're going to get the craziest shit. And I was also, when I was there, I told the lads like, yo, I'm not here to make friends. Like I'm here to make a TV show. So if you guys want to talk shit about anyone, talk shit about me. Cause I'm talking shit about you. And they kind of like pushed me out of the group. So I was like automatically like, I don't really care. Plus I think at that time in my life, like I was in that like fuck boy stage, like partying, like not caring about anything. Like didn't really have any responsibilities. And I, the, I think going through that whole process made me reflect a lot more, which was better because then it helped me build myself into a better person. How old were you when you did Too Hard to Handle? I think I just turned 21. Wow. Did yeah. you always want to be on TV like that? Well, I was on a show previous. and Ooh, um, Which one? This one called Heartbreak Island. It was just big in... New Zealand and Australia that actually just sold it to Discovery. So fuck those guys. <laughs> and, and like, oh, you want to come back for like a guest appearance? I was like, no, fuck you. <laughs> Give me my prize money again. Um, yeah. But, yeah. So I did, I was at university and I ended up going on that show um, because I was in a bit of a dark place in my life and my brother's best friend um, lost his battle with mental health. So I was like really like confused. And I remember I was like, I fucking hate university. I hate people telling me what to do. I was like, I just want to make my friends laugh. And then that day, my friend Helen tagged me in this Facebook post, like apply for this dating show. I was like, fuck it. I remember, I remember sitting beside this like creek with my dog and I was like crying. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go on. I'm going to win this show. I'm going to make people laugh. And that's kind of how this all started. I went on, won the show. I had like a, uh, a bunch of stuff that happened on the show that helped people like in New Zealand. I had a few DMs like, hey, your mindset's really helped me or you're an idiot. You made me laugh. And like that for me, I'm like, that's fulfilling. Like that's my purpose. And then, um, yeah, before taught to handle, I was just applying. I think it was like four months straight. I was applying for every single show that that would come up because I had a UK passport. I was meant to go on uh, Love Island. And then it was like this, the same casting team. Like, oh, this would be way more fun for you. Um, but they didn't tell us it was for Netflix. And then I ended up here. Wow. So when you were like applying and doing the interviews and everything for Taught to Handle, you really didn't know. We had no idea because it was, it was never done before. And also like uh, Netflix didn't have any reality TV shows out. So like True. we were kind of just like, I don't think that's real because like you couldn't find any Netflix reality shows. Like, oh yeah, it's going to be one of the first. Mm. And then we're just like, what the fuck is like, are you sure? Like, are they doing it? And then obviously it kind of like as soon as COVID hit, it was just like they started rolling them all out. Did yeah. you know when you were filming that it was going to be like what it was? Did I you was have any ask idea? exactly that. I was going to ask exactly yeah, that. Yeah, did you have any idea that you were going to be like the it, it boy? Because when I think of Too Hot to Handle, when we, we were both discussing we were this, discussing this last when week, we think yeah. of Too Hot to Handle, I only think about you. I just think wow. Harry Jowsey. Harry wow. Chase, Chloe Melinda. Those are I think my, Harry the, Jowsey. Those are my four. Obviously, obviously, wow. we're thinking two faces of two out to handle yeah. Harry, Chloe. Because for me, I think of season one, yeah, yeah. and I yeah. think Harry, Francesca, and, and I, that and Francesca, Francesca Chloe well. feud. Yes. You know, like mm-hmm. I think about that's what I think about. I know mm-hmm. that when I hope that when people think about the circle, they think about Courtney and I. That was the goal. <laughs> Those bitches. <laughs> that was the goal, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's such a such a blessing to be able to be on a show like that. But we had we genuinely had no idea because like. You don't know what's going to be put in and what's going to be cut out. And like there was a and I don't know, there was just because it was every three days was one episode. So we didn't we had no idea of like what was going to happen. Or right. The, there's like so much that happens. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like, I don't know, all this actual drama and like people getting pissed off. There was almost like a big punch up one night. Like Whoa. people like ran away. <gasps> what? Was, I ran away? Who the hell? We didn't away? show any of this. Running away? No, no. Like Matthew like ran away one night. Matthew and Kells, I think. Kells like ran away. Like it was. It was really? Just, it was pretty intense. Yeah, it was getting the like... The two biggest guys, probably the biggest guys there, they're all trying, yeah. trying to hide behind a palm leaf. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's like Matt, his head is just sticking up from something because he's so fucking tall. The thought of that, the visual of that. Yeah. The thought of Jesus running away. <laughs> literally. I don't, I don't know if I was meant to... if Like, because it was... It was so... I think it was just a little bit too much and that was just before he was meant to... He, he got asked to leave or he left on his own decision. But yeah, it was pretty... Not having sex was too much for him? I think so. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I think the issue was is... Uh, it's just, it gets pretty, like, 
you guys know how it is. Like when you're in a TV show, like it's just like your entire life. And then for some reason, it becomes like your life's mission is to win that money or mm-hmm. like to do is exactly what they say. Because like, because you're only there. Yeah, like the rest yep. of the world actually doesn't, doesn't exist. Matter. And then yeah. as soon as someone leaves, you're like, oh, they just died. Like that's how it feels. Yeah. Yes. Like yes. everyone's like, why do you guys yes. cry? I'm like, because it feels yeah. like they're being like, they're about to go like have yeah. a public execution. Like that's exactly how it feels. <laughs> but like as soon as you realize that they're just going to go to a hotel and have a good couple of days and you're going to see them like in a week. Like they're actually living their best lives they, they're outside. Actually enjoy, like they're probably having more fun. Yeah. Like, I literally act like you died when you got blocked. I did die. I did die. And I have resurrected. (laughs) That is what it feels like. Wait, so talk to me more about Too Out to Handle. I'm so interested. I heard a rumor and I need need to know the truth. Oh, Oh, fuck. I love rumors. Okay. I heard you guys were only allowed to have one drink a day. Two. It was two. Two? But for me, I'm the biggest lightweight. So I would have two and I would be fucked up. You're lightweight? (laughs) Yes. No, I'm the, like, here's the issue with me. I'm the biggest waste of a big guy. Like, I'm not athletic. I can't play any sports. Like, I don't have any hand-eye coordination. Everyone asks me to play basketball. I can't jump. And then when it comes to drinking, I'll have two drinks and I'll be like, Yo, like, let's get fucking crazy. <laughs> so you're good for, like, reaching things that are too high. And that's that's, that's much it. it. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And you can make people laugh. That's that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I hope yeah. these are on your resume. No, it's uh, it's actually the, the only things that are on it. Oh, wow. And the rest of the page is blank? Yeah. Yeah, just okay. like selfies. Yeah. Oh, love that. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Love that for you. Or, is it selfies or selfies? The so, ones on their OnlyFans. Yeah. So, you know, today's National Nude Day. Is it? I'm annoyed that no Perfect. one said Perfect. Per- that's why we're having you on. <laughs> 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 I can't wait to Take off your clothes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, please stop. <laughs> He's like Georgia will crucify me. Jesus. Yeah. Just flash a tit. So Harry, you whatever come, you need, you come home from Too Out to Handle. The show comes out. How do you decide what to do next? Like, how did you decide how to navigate your life after that? I think because um, I just moved to LA and I didn't. It was like po- like mid COVID as well, and like it was everyone was kind of locked in at home, and I was trying to figure out like social media and TikTok. I just had the mindset and I remember telling myself the day the show comes out, I was like, I'm not going to say no to any opportunity in the next 12 months. Like, I don't care if this, if the TikToker is like bigger or smaller than me. I don't care if it's like a random photographer. I don't give a fuck. Like, I just want to do as much as I can and see what happens. And that was kind of the, the, I think the biggest issue and the thing that I regret the most is I didn't start a podcast sooner because you really get from people coming up like, oh my God, I've seen you from the show. It's like people come up and have a conversation and I love meeting people. That was my biggest regret. But yeah, I just, I didn't say no to anything. Like if someone DM me like, hey, like, do you want to come over and like hang out? I'm like, of course, like I would love to do that. You want to come out? You want to come to dinner? I was like, yes, I would love to come meet you because at that, because I did a show previous. So I was like, okay, I know we're kind of cool for a month and then then like mm-hmm. people get bored of us. That's it. So I was like, I'm going to use this month as hard as I can and like go out and meet as many people as I can. And then hopefully that people realize I'm not a piece of shit. And I'm good from there. So that was the, that was like the mindset. And then I just, I guess everything kind of just like followed. Yeah. I don't think anybody actually thought that about, did people, did, is that how you felt like uh, coming off the show that people thought that you're a piece of shit? I think because I lied on like the second episode and because I was like playing really into like my, uh, I don't know, my ego and like my fuckboy side. So I think that, yeah, I definitely, people are like, oh my God, this guy's like, he's not even that attractive. Like he's skinny, but all this like crazy. I remember seeing like all this shit about me and I was like, wow. Like, What's pe- the worst thing you read about yourself? Um, well, there's a bunch of like rumors that I was like, oh, this is really interesting. But people- Ooh, like what? I want to know. Well, just people make up shit. And yeah. they're just like, they'll like write, like write comments. And I'm like, holy shit. Like, I didn't know I did that, but that was, that's crazy. You're like, like tell me more about myself. Yeah, I'm like, this is sick. Mm-hmm. But no, there's just like the, the most interesting thing. Like I see a lot of body shaming and- that is what made me really insecure when I was when we, the show just come out. Like there was all these people saying like skinny fat and like giving me shit about this or that. And it really got me motivated because I looked at myself. I was like, yo, I'm actually not happy. So like, I like use that momentum to to be able to train harder and like take care of myself a little bit better. But I don't know. Like now I just laugh at them because of my audience and the people that that I like engage with are just like funny people and they get like my humor and understand. It. But the random people that come in and talk shit like. Or just like, bro, you're not even funny. Like, get out of here. Like, yeah. you're boring. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Oh, that's kind of sad that people were body shaming you. But like, you I were just like a 21 year old college student trying to live your best life, and they're yeah. like, fat, skinny. Yeah, yeah. What comes to the territory? So I was just, I also like looked at that stuff, and I was like, yo, like I'm actually, because I was going out, like I was doing as much as I could. I wasn't. I didn't care about what I was eating. I wasn't really training. I wasn't doing anything like that. So I was just like. 
you know, actually maybe they're right. Like I should probably just like focus a little bit more on myself. And that's when I, yeah, took, took myself a little bit more serious instead of, yeah, just, but it, it worked for the best, that's I guess. That's good. It, it really goes to show that you're able to like persevere, you know, you're able to push through and kind of come yeah. out on the other side. People are always going to have shit to say. Always. always, always. And it doesn't mean that they're right. You know, everybody has an opinion. Yeah. Mm. And y'all mean as hell. Leave our bodies alone. <laughs> I know that's like so mean like I feel like men are so sensitive especially when it comes to like you know their bodies and stuff to yeah. shame men like a man about their body show me your abs yeah so you're on the beach mm. it's beautiful yeah. you're horny yeah and you find out that you can't actually do anything on this pleasure island thing yeah walk me through your thoughts I cried Aw. No, not tears? I, no, I did. Okay, so the... And I'm not sure if I'm... Men are so sensitive. I, no, I was, you can't have sex. Oh! Is that my balls? Okay, okay, no, no, first off. So we, <laughs> actually, my balls. we actually had a night bef like together before they announced the rules, right? Oh, right, And yeah. no, no one knew this. Like, I've, I, they've told us not to t say it like when we're in contract, but I'm, I'm whatever now. Um, But... So the the night we get in, we all they're like allowed to go crazy, like doing body shots, whatever else. And me and my ex at the time, the first night, um, we were just doing everything, but we were the only people that were like getting heated. And that was the issue, is like we were just about to have sex, like in the room with everyone. Mm. Like and everyone's like, yo, shut the fuck up. Like this is the first night. And I was like, Yeah, you're right. And she's like, actually, like, let's just like wait. Uh, we have like, a whole time yeah, to do yeah, it. Yeah, because you're thinking that you have the whole how how long were you there for? Like a month. So you're thinking that you have a lot more time, right? <sighs> yeah, yeah. So I was just like, oh shit. So we were mm. things were kicking off with us. And then so it comes the next day, and that's when they drop the rules on us. So I imagine me, like, with it almost in, and then like the next night, I was like, we were talking, I was like, we're gonna do this, we're gonna go to the shower, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, fuck, I had it played out of my head. Like, I was telling her the crazy shit. I was like, I know this is only gonna last 30 seconds. So like I'm fully just like setting her up to get disappointed. And then we're like, they we we're, we're put in the bedroom by ourselves. Like they the producers put us in the bedroom by ourselves. And I was like, thank God. Thank you guys. <laughs> like, like, yes. Blessed. Yeah. He's like, you guys gotta sort of and by the way, we didn't know what the fuck Lana was at this time. So we're in the room, we're getting heated. Um, I was just like, holy shit, like things are about to kick off, and then it lights up, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like full like blue balls. So I was so revved up and so horny at that point. So by the time we got down to the area where everyone was sitting and we were like so excited because I was like, after this, like it's like game on. <laughs> we were talking crazy. And then they dropped the rules and I was like, because she, she started with her legs on me and by the end of it, she was like, like four feet away from me. <laughs> like we couldn't have, we couldn't have got past each other quick enough. And then everyone's just like, oh, uh, like you guys have probably already lost this money. And so everyone was like coming at us and I was like, holy fuck, like, I started to get over. I was like, I'm going to get out of here. So I like went to the back of one of the producers. Like, Harry, you have to like relax. Like it's <laughs> not the end of the world. And I was like crying. I was like, yo, if I can't sleep with her, like what? what's the point of being here? <laughs> like I was, <laughs> that's the mentality I was in at the time. I was like, get me off this show. I'm going to go like put me on Love Island, put me on something else. Like I want to have sex. Like you can have sex. And I was like, oh, what? I was like, are you sure? Like, yes, you can, but you're not meant to. It's the rules. But like, relax. It's not that deep. And I was like, oh, okay. Now you immediately calming down when they say you can have sex. You're like, oh, really? Is it, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, God. Good. I was, yeah. I was like, come on. My ancestors have like ingrained this. In. I have to breed. Boy, please. <laughs> stop. Harry, stop. Not the, don't bring the ancestors into to. this. They didn't do I anything. Was, I was, look, I was using everything. I was like, please. Like, come on, guys. Like, this is not fair. Your poor Jeez. ancestors. Yeah. They're disappointed. <laughs> I hope they're not listening right now. So did Lana, how did that work? Like, yeah, is that like, what is the technicality behind Lana? Is it really like your NDA is over now? You could talk about things. So is Lana a real uh, system or is it like a producer behind? Yeah. So the they, cone? so they had, I think it was, I think it was like 65 cameras or maybe 96. I don't know. There was a fuckload of cameras on this. I don't know. It was. It has, a, it has a six in it. That's all I know. Oh. I, I forget. But there was all these ca cameras everywhere, microphones everywhere. So you couldn't like, they could hear a mouse fart like in a different room. Like that's how like, how many microphones oh were everywhere. God. So they were like so locked in on everything. But they had this private room and they just, it was, I think it was called the library and they just had every single camera. We didn't get to see it, but um, they could see everything. And the, Lana was just like, she, it was just like Siri. So they would just like type the thing out, go yeah. speak text. Uh, and the issue was they would say one sentence and then it's like a 45 second break. So we're just sitting there like, yo, yeah. say the rest of this shit. Like, it's yeah. like, there's been a deduction. I was like, are you fucking crazy? 
like get yeah. it out. It was yeah. it was a crazy shit. It's like way more like there's a lot more anticipation in the moment. I feel because you're yeah. like waiting for that. We kind of experienced the same that, thing that on the circle, like, yeah, right? Us waiting for the ratings. No, like you waiting for <laughs> someone to reply every no, conversation. I was took gonna like ask about minutes. that. Yeah, because I was like, because you have to say. Hey, circle, and then your message, and then you have to wait for a play. I was like, that would take an hour. That's like, not even really how it is either. Like you, it takes an hour to, for them to write it out, and then you have to read it back as if you're just saying it. Yeah, and then that's what you, you see on TV. I would punch the TV. Like, you I, want to? I would start swinging in there. I'm like, yo, get me out of here. I would. I have no patience. <laughs> I, that's what I did. I took I took the guitar so, and I was like, ah, so did, so going did. crazy. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> Jeez. But overall, good experience throughout the whole oh, life changing. changing. Yeah, you would yeah. do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah, I think that was such a blessing, and just to have an opportunity to to work with such an amazing team was yeah, I'm so so grateful. I wouldn't I wouldn't change anything about that experience. Uh, yeah, I just I just think that it's been such a life changing. Uh, an, an amazing company to be a part of. Mm, I agree. Shout out to y'all Netflix. Y'all treat us so well. And ev everyone's so... I haven't met one bad person from Netflix. I was like, one of you guys has to have an ego. Like, <laughs> like come on. Every, it's you. It's, yes. <laughs> so I, have to, I have to start carrying them. No, but every, every time I've gone and like, hung out with people. them, <laughs> they're, so, they're so sweet. Like, yeah. everyone is so nice. I feel... Yeah, I feel like um, everyone who stays in the Netflix, like, circle, like, in, in this realm, you have to be, like likable and nice yeah. you know i feel like people who aren't nice just don't get us back yeah mm. and it's unfortunate because like we've discussed on the podcast before like being in reality being on camera it really is a job like we have fun yeah make people laugh but at the end of the day um when them contracts get signed like we are employees yeah literally um so we always just try to do our best right girl right why'd, Sorry, you, why'd was, you get so serious no because I, I was reading questions and I was like thinking right. about I was like, where oh, I was going to go she's about to right. hit me with no I'm like, so sorry <laughs> so so no I, I was just looking at all the questions <laughs> we haven't asked yet that's all, that's uh, all. I was thinking yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, <laughs> you literally sat up and you are just like right <laughs> I was like oh <laughs> fuck no sometimes sorry I, I just Same. dissociate I'm like huh what's up um yeah, so we saw like a really interesting side of you in a relation coming out of a show with a relationship, oh, right? Yeah. And it was like I can't imagine how difficult. I I already know how hard it is dealing with being on a show. What was it like dealing with being in a show and being like in a very public relationship? That was very new for you. Yeah, I think that. Um, and is it something you would do again? Are you you're in a relationship right now? Yes. So yes. clearly, you're okay with being public, right? Yeah. I, well, I've had like since then, I've had like a lot of private relationships and like kept my shit offline. Um, but I think that was such a amazing experience because I got a chance to learn so much about myself. Like, as you can imagine, there's all these people like criticizing you, check like on your shit, like micromanaging everything, and then once you break up everyone's just like attacking you and coming at you. So it made like, again, like it made me look so far in that it was mm -hmm. such a benefit. I think that that relationship was, was amazing and I've got nothing but good things to say about her. But um, yeah, we just, I learned so much. Like I was so young when we first, when we first met, but being on a show like that, you don't really, we didn't really get a chance to be friends and like get to figure each other out first. So I think that was like the biggest, that was our biggest downfall was cause we, we went straight in the deep end and then we said, I love you like within like a few weeks. And then um, we were trying to navigate our lives and we actually didn't really know each other that well. We didn't really like, I don't know what a social circle looked like. I don't know what our dreams were. I was still trying to figure out my stuff. Like, you were in a showmance. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Literally. That's and the showmance became a real r romance. A, yeah. Real thing. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, it was really, really intense. But the, the best thing about that was just, being able to reflect and being able to grow from it because I, I i was really fucked up from the breakup like i was i was really destroyed so I, we ran away i ran away to like uh, arizona and went to this place called sedona which is like this super spiritual um there's i don't know energy land i don't know there's a bunch mm -hmm. of crazy shit that happened but like rocks out, rocks and dirt there a lot of, a I've, been, I've been to sedona i love it there yeah i don't know you feel really <laughs> nuts and yeah. i've been able to meditate and like get those emotions out and like ask myself questions like who do I want to be what do I want to do blah 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 all this stuff and I don't know I think it was so beneficial and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't change uh like how the lessons that I learned and how that affected everything I think it was the best thing that happened to me so you would be in a you would be like in a very public relationship over and over again or is it something that you 
you know, because you're in private relationships after. Yeah. So obviously you felt some type of way about it, no? Yeah, I think that when you're in a public relationship, like everyone's like scru scrutinizing it. And that's kind of what's going on at the moment with me in Georgia. Like everyone's, uh, there's like a bunch of people like, are they really together or is it for press or whatnot? And I'm like, no, nah, I fucking love this girl. Like she's amazing. But I, She uh, is. She's really great. She's so much fun. I don't know how you got her. Because she's awesome. <laughs> oh, I, I love her. She's a really good person. Silly. She's super sweet. And you guys are both from Australia, right? Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah, Aww. we get to like, I get to enjoy like the same type of music. Yeah. Because like we get to, we grew up listening to the same stuff. And that's been the best thing. Is, Did you guys kind of grow up like in? Uh, We're literally a few hours you? from each other. Wow. Whoa. So weird. Oh my yeah. God, that's like me and Courtney. Wow. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. We actually lived within a mile of each other when we, when did, we did the, the circle. circle. Really? Yeah. yeah. We didn't realize until we met. And Wow. Yeah. So I would go over to, I, I would pick him up or he would come over. I would go over or whatever. Thanks, wow. producers. Yeah, it was a great time. It was a great <laughs> time. I think I just got something in my eye. Oh, Georgia, he's crying over no, you. No, I'm not. No way. He is. No way. She'll, she'll clip this. <laughs> oh, Homecoming <laughs> Queen's podcast where we make Harry Jowsey cry. Aww. He's getting emotional, guys. Yeah, I have something in my eye. We have to like edit sure. us saying something no. like really That's salacious and then cut something to him crying. Like yeah. <laughs> um, but no, back to the public, public relationships. I think that being in this space, like you guys know how it is. Like when you find someone cool or you hang out with like a new friend and you want to make like TikToks and like content with, yeah. it gets exciting to do that stuff. And I haven't really found, like she loves doing it as well. So... I think that's been like, that's why it's been public, but the private stuff has been like people that have are in a different industry, but it's kind of boring because I'm like, I want to make like videos with you. I want to take photos and like do stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know if I'll, if I, I don't know if I enjoy having a public relationship, but I think it's, I think it's fun. Like, I think it's interesting, but yeah. For sure. I think when you make content and stuff, it's like important that yeah. they at least want to participate with you maybe yeah. not like also be inclined to post yeah. but you know you want to share parts of your life i mean when when you do what we do it's like is your eye okay bro I, I, no you're going through there it there was something in it but i think we're good are you good yeah do you want to mirror something <laughs> no we're good we're good okay but yeah like when you find those people it's important to like keep them in your circle so yeah i'm glad that's so cute i love your content together yeah no she's so funny but also like all her funny tiktoks i write them so any Ooh. All her comments, that that's the T right there. All her comments, like, oh my God, George is so funny. And she's like showing me, like showing it off. I was like, I wrote that, dickhead. <laughs> you can't claim my humor just because I'm ripping on myself. She's but like, see, I think you got that, like your humor is yeah. so good together. I agree. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like you guys feed each other like really good energy. Yeah, she's very, very lighthearted. And and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we, we rip on each other all the time, which is good. I actually got a photo of her this morning asleep because I was not like a creepy way. I know. I, I was like, okay, Joe. No, because I was like frustrated because whenever I'm in, when I'm in bed, I like tell her, I was like, yo, like I have no room. Like you sleep on top of me. Like I can't, like I don't have any like breathing space. <laughs> right. And so she's like, no, I don't. So I'm like, bro, look at, she's literally like in the I'm middle broke. and diagonal. <laughs> Wait, what side? You were on the, literally the I'm on this side. No, I thought you were on the other side. No, no. <laughs> she's like. She took Is over. Is this your bed? Yes. She's so, like, oh, wow. literally, she takes over. I don't and know she you... literally took over your bed. Yeah, yeah, look at that. She just wanted to be close to you. Wow, yeah. Such a, so annoying, honestly. My dog does the same thing to me. Yeah, it's, it's like having takes a big over... dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she... Clip that, please. <laughs> Yeah. Harry Jowsey, the misogynist. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> I've, I've heard that before, so we're good. <laughs> Harry, what's the most unexpected thing that's happened to you since being on camera for the first time? The most unexpected thing? Yeah. I think um I think realizing I don't know, I, I think Justin Bieber FaceTiming me. Oh what? How did that happen? That was the most unexpected thing. Like what? I, no I, was, way. I was like shaking. Yeah, it was the crate. The crazy. It's like all shaking on the FaceTime. <laughs> How yeah. does something like that even happen? So yeah, he, he he watched the show and he was like, could, "Okay, also this is the craziest thing. Like this is mind blowing. Every single person consumes the same like media, right? Which yeah. is what I didn't realize. But like Kylie Jenner, uh, Khloe Kardashian, like all these people consume the same like media as we do. Like, and I was and I realized that at the time I was like, oh shit! Like people like watch the show. And so he he sent me a message on Instagram. He said, "My boy." Uh, what's your number or something like that. And I was like, holy fuck. Because I used his song in uh, when I posted the video with Francesca. I was like, oh, fuck, he's going to sue me. Like, <laughs> Not I was like, sue. I was like, oh, no, because it got like 30 million views. So I was like, oh, shit. Like, he's going to sue me. I used a whole song. 
I'm in trouble. Um, <laughs> and then he's just like, yeah, he called me and he just said, look, this the most sweetest, nicest guy on the planet. He's like, I know you're new to all this stuff. I'm here if you need anything, blah, blah, blah. Just We spoke for an hour and a half and he like prayed for me. Whoa. It, literally the 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 nicest guy on the planet. Like I, I couldn't say enough good words about him. And then I met him a few times and like I still get like, I was so nervous, like, like, freak out like i just shut up i just sit there i'm like I'm, i don't want to say anything stupid but i remember the the dumbest thing i said so i was like so like how do i like talk to you and like be friends he's like just like a normal person i was like yeah but like come on like you're not normal like you're the you're the guy and you're he's justin just like, bieber yeah he's like, like no he's just yeah. like he's like just don't blow up my phone like and i was like okay yes sir and then i got really nervous that i sent him like this um this music set from this artist called fkj and it's oh, like, I love FKJ. So nice, right? Wow. Did you see the he did a the like, new album? Oh no, he did like a, a set in like a museum. Oh no, I haven't or seen the, that. Or like this art place. And I sent it to oh. him and I was like, hey, if you're feeling down, like you should listen to this. <laughs> no reply. And I, I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, okay. But that, that was the most I'm sure he I'm sure he liked it. I'm sure yeah. he liked it. Nah, Don't he, overthink it. Nah, he's a he's a sweetheart. I uh yeah, I just that was the that was the most unexpected crazy thing that's ever happened. That's so cool. Or just, oh, actually being on a yacht with a little baby, just me. Wow, wow, wow. Bitch on my, my baby. best friend and Whoa. then uh his crew. Yeah. That's cool. Was, on a yacht. It was so random. Ooh, fun. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that was really cool. Fun. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Bitch from a brand new whip guy. He's no, really nice please. as well. He's like his whole crew was like they were so sweet. Before we get into the game, Harry, I want to know what your favorite restaurant in LA is and why. Oh yeah, my, my favorite restaurant in LA. I think this place called Members. Mm. Have you heard of it? Mm -mm. Members. It's um this place in Hollywood. No one really knows about it. Um, but it literally feels like you're stepping into like a different country. Like it feels like Tulum. Like it's really. Interesting. The food's really good. It's like a hookah lounge. There's a lot of like Middle Eastern people there because it's it's honestly such a crazy cool vibe. Um, but you get that the the food's insane. But there's these lady like belly dancers that will come around with like swords on their heads or like huge candles. Like it's fucking sick for a food oh. spot. That and the music's like jungle like house. So it's like a little vibe. Like everyone's having a good time. There's like a shaman that comes around with like sage. and Whoa. Oh, I need that. I yeah. need that. And magicians. Dinner, a show, and you get to align your chakra, chakras or yeah. get cleansed or something. Yeah, no, it's, it's, dance. it's- We need to go the there. Time. If you guys want to go, we can go. Because I I, okay. I I like lived there. There was one time where I was going like four or five nights a week. <laughs> Actually, no, no, it wasn't for, it was like every night that they were open, which was like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Which is four to five nights a week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But like literally it's so much fun because it's, Cause like everyone goes like oh boa or like catch what no yeah. it's like oh, no. it's more of like a, a a fun vibe and like people get like it, after like I think like eleven it turns into like a jungle like it gets like crazy hey. Ooh, everyone's I like, like that. getting up and like vibing out it's Ooh. like I can show you videos if you want oh yeah yeah, I yeah it's go so let's go let's go I'm down and me and Courtney are always down for dinner oh, drinks and dancing that's no, literally that's the our three brand. big D's yeah literally <laughs> three big d's <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah no what about you guys where's your favorite spot while i find this stuff um, hmm, it's hard i right now i mean i really love a good toka madera moment that's I, where i had my birthday yeah i sh me and courtney were there recently to I celebrate like his big day with his wow. friends yeah. i was at lavo last night that's like a new restaurant it's owned by tau group have you been i think i've been yeah yeah no i, ha I haven't it was really I, nice i went there one time before i'm gonna be honest with you the food is like if I, I go for the vibes, the food is like not bad, but it's not, not amazing. Mm. Right. Like, yeah, there's I, so many places in LA where you can get really good food. I feel like true. the aesthetic isn't enough for me. Have you been to La Mesa? That was also like, I a, have. That's, a, that's oh. a similar vibe to members. Super but, good. But members, like, oh, really? Shits on it. I've, I'm actually surprised I've never heard about members. Yeah, but it's like so low key. I like, I like, like places vibe. like that. Oh, uh, shit. That's cool. Wait, so are you planning on, do you have like a visa to be here forever? Like what's the deal with that? Because I know you're like obviously not from here. Yeah, so I have a uh, O1 visa, which is a talent visa. Oh, cool. Um, so that's just like for movies and, and shows and stuff like that and hosting. Mm -hmm. um, so I can be here for like, I think, is it, it's either three or five years. It's mm -hmm. one of those. If it's three years, I got to figure it out by next year. Oh. If it's five, we're good. Oh, All okay. right. Yeah. All right, let me find. You just got to get married. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, candles on your scalp? Oh my god, how is the building not burning down? No, look at this. she got skills. It's so much fun. They're just like running around. Oh, I love that. What is going on? How do you learn this skill? Wow, that's amazing. So we were all on Flores Lava. Harry, what was that like for you? So much fun. I didn't realize the pool was like only like shallow. 
Really? I thought it was kind of deep. I literally I'm almost you felt, You guys felt it. What do you mean? It was shallow, no? Harry, you're we're, six foot five. Yeah, we're like, I'm point. like five, yeah. six. I, my, I was completely submerged, actually. I you literally were? almost drowned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they I had was, to come and get I was my like ass. waiting. I was just like, oh, this sucks. I go on. I was like, oh, They fuck. sent a rescuer to come get my ass out of there. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was just annoyed because uh, the gunk was in my eyes and Same. in my hair, my ears. And I could feel it in my ears. It made it really uncomfortable. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. But that was so much fun. I got, mm -hmm. I think my issue was is I did. Uh, a previous course for the Netflix YouTube mm. and I smashed it like I did so well uh, I was with Melinda and someone this lady from Love is Blind forget her name because I'm terrible with names um, but I, and I was Ooh. I was no I'm just terrible with names uh, but I was so cocky so I was telling Chase and Taylor I was like yo like fuck this shit blah, blah. I was like I'll race you guys to the end all this shit and then I ended up falling. And then you ended up doing the worst out of yeah. ever. Yeah, Damn, that thing's back in my eye again. Yeah, I feel like our course was like, oh, I was looking at other courses from that season and I was like, bro, why did we get, like, first of all, my jump was longer than my height. I was yeah, like, hmm, yeah. not going to make this, but I'm going to make it real cute for TV. I said, eh, and then I went, boop. It was a I feel bad for moment. Jack. He got fucked up. Oh my God. He's fully scorpion. <laughs> No, that was an that epic was insane. fall, though, right? That was insane. No, it was so it was so hard because everything's slippery. I was dying yeah. at you on the little wheel thing. It was so. I, could I, I not have done. I that. Also, prop, no props to you for getting yourself back up. That took a yeah. lot of. My, I w when I saw you do that, I was like, "Damn, he's gonna have to work real hard to get back up." You know, I blacked out. I didn't remember it. You did good though. I literally getting... all I remember is like seeing the lava, and I was like, "Ah." Oh. Fuck. Yeah, it was like, I was right like this there. is so embarrassing. <laughs> and then I remember looking over to the like the camera and like all the. Everyone and like Chase and like Taylor didn't give a fuck, and I was like, <sighs> they were like, Damn. okay, so anyway, like this, yeah, I was like, this is this sucks. Like I didn't, I couldn't figure out how to spin this thing fast enough. <laughs> and then I, I don't, I don't know how the fuck I got out of that, but I remember just sitting there and just like, okay, relax, calm down, because I was like trying to beat everyone else. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get to the end before everyone, and then I slipped over on that stupid thing. It was just, it was a. So it's the dumbest way to go out. Like I was like, I could have done something cool because I told the guys before. I was like, if we fall in. Do like a highlight reel thing. Like do something sick. Like you yeah. should like bang your head or do a backflip or do something unreal. And then all I do is fucking slip over. So I was so angry. Yeah. Like I wanted some shit like Jack. Like I wanted to be like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jack was like a stunt. I want to do it again. We were Me talking too. about that. Yeah. I would do that again in a heartbeat. It was yeah. It was, it was so much fun. Yeah, it was uh -huh. crazy. I told them to just use me as a test dummy. Like, don't you don't even have to film me, yeah. pay me. Just uh, you're planning a course. Call me. Yeah, test I'll be there. I'll girl. test it out. I'll, well, Harry, it was great talking to you today. Before we end the show, we oh. have a little game that we like to play called Kiss, Mary, Avoid. It's our version of Fuck, Mary, Kill. <laughs> okay? Uh, fuck. We made it kind of easy for you. Yeah, this one's uh, easy. Here we go. So number one mm -hmm. is Francesca. Ugh. Number two is Chase. Uh. And number three is Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Just be glad we didn't throw Georgia in the mix, you know. It would have made it too uh, easy for you. Yeah, no, but okay, so avoid Francesca. Okay. And then But we'll, I thought you said you loved her earlier. I loved her for the time that we had. You still wanna oh okay, okay. Yeah, we're, we're good now. Like okay, okay. We've, we've we've learned our lessons. Yes. Um avoid her. Okay. Marry Chloe. Oh. And I what? Kiss oh, Chase? I guess so. Oh. I'm, I'm out of options. Okay. <laughs> I got nothing else to give him. That's yeah. good. Uh, All right. Good. Okay. A little bromance. A little with yeah. Chase. Oh. <laughs> Is okay. that, that'll, 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 that'll Just a little smoocheroo with Chase. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Um. Okay. I think Um. I don't really like... See, it's hard because the temptation with Francesca is there. Like, do I want to kiss Francesca? But then I also... I mean, I, did you listen to... Um, by the way, any past podcasts? Mm -mm. Oh, because I kind of said the same thing about you. Not going to lie. Oh, you did? <laughs> I just said... You wouldn't want to kiss me? I don't really like having what others have had. Uh, well, that, that's, a, not, that's a terrible mindset, though. I know, like, I know. Yeah, that's sorry. such a close up mindset. Because I, I hate people that are like, they're like, oh my God, I would never like talk to you because of you hooked up with this person. It's just like, well, <laughs> you're going to live like such a scared lifestyle because uh, the crazy thing oh, about no, I'm not scared no I mean like but like af afraid because like if you I'd hate to be, I'd hate to be in a relationship with someone if they're like freaking out about my exes because like that's no a it's not really that you know what it is it's like when you're in a small group of people yeah. and like I know multiple people that have dated yeah I don't want to be like a part of the like 
Fair. cesspool no, right. a cesspool? of things. Like right. I just kind of want to like vibe and be there. So you're just like subliminally slut shaming. So no, 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 no. I think it's ass. great yeah. that you ass, do Harry. that. Try no, no. no yeah. like, so yeah, get I'm talking you can, personally. You can, you can say it. I'm, I'm talking it. personally. No, I'm just saying like, you know, because I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I think about all the other people that that person has like yeah, but kissed that I know that no, I know. That, okay, I, again, like that's such a close off mindset because like <laughs> so many people like to me they're like, oh, I would never like date someone that's been with like over fifteen people over fifty because like this is what this is why I have my podcast because I talk okay. about this stuff because like no, teach me. I want to know. No, because it's the the issue is like you're gonna be forever. You're gonna be like a like a. Uh, are on edge about something but like the the best thing about people is who they are like if they own it if they're just open and if you vibe with someone or if you like actually like genuinely love someone there should be nothing that like deters that like there shouldn't be like religious views there shouldn't be like sexual like whatever they've had in the past it should literally just be like yo this person's cool i think they're amazing i don't want to let stuff that actually doesn't affect me cloud my judgment on them mm -hmm. like i think that's the the biggest issue i think that's why i love talking about this stuff is because there's so many people that let like previous stuff that actually doesn't affect them at all like fully cloud their judgment on on their like mindset or how they are about something like you should just deal with people on face value. That's how I deal with. That's why I love people because I'm about like, like the love in the present. Yeah, I'm just like okay, I can see that. No, I just I know I I honestly I really appreciate that. I like yeah. the pushback because I I want to see like where your mindset is. I mean, I can kind I can vibe with that. I would never like say, oh, I'm never gonna date this person because they've like been with X A B C D E. When you when you start dating someone, do you ask like how many people have you slept with? Or, no, I was gonna say because that's like a high school mindset. No, I never okay. ask because yeah. okay. I don't want them to ask me. Y'all hear yeah. it's, it's, it shouldn't lashings, matter. It shouldn't right. matter. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying when I'm in a small group with people, it, mm -hmm. it isn't like a. It, I'm only saying it because like we're all like in the same pool and I have to see people like all the time. Right. Like I would never date like someone that my friend like a really close friend of mine has dated because I just don't want to I don't know I don't want to be like uh, so yeah, I guess I don't want to cause like an issue you know what I mean and it's like yeah but that's uh, on them no it depends how you approach things like jo <sighs> Georgia could have that same issue because she could be like oh I saw this person I went out like but she's just like it's got nothing to do with me like that's between you two so like you guys deal with it that's right. your energy to hold like that's the same as me like any person that she's ever been with or like any person that she's dated or, you know, she's been with like people mm -hmm. from uh, Taught the Handle as well and like other like celebs and stuff. Like that's got nothing to do with me. Like that's their energy. They can deal with that. I don't want to have that in my head. I've mm -hmm. got enough, enough shit to worry about. So that's like, some them... adult okay. thinking. There I know you that's go. right. Right. Of course. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You got too many things to worry about. Yeah. Too many other things to be thinking of. Yeah. I don't want to worry about their shit. Like mm -hmm. they fucking did their relationship. I don't want to deal with that. I got enough of my own. Okay. Fine. So kiss, marry, avoid. <laughs> okay. Okay. So kiss, marry, avoid. <laughs> Fuck, I think I think I just need to fucking kiss Francesca. Harry's just there really wants this to happen. There you go. Yes. Okay. I guess I'll kiss Francesca. Fuck. I gotta see what's good there. Cause everybody keeps going there and I need to understand what the yeah. what the deal is about, you know? Yeah. I'll be the judge of that. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> um I would wanna marry Chase. Simply what? simply because I need a taller person there to help me with tall right. people okay. things. Fair. And Chloe's tall too, but Chase got a booty. So I gotta go for Chase. You do a bit of bum play, and I would avoid Chloe um, just by default <laughs> because she's just not in the country. <laughs> she's not in. The, I'm not even gonna address the booty them. play. I'm wow. not even gonna let. No. So that is a anyway, freak, huh? moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I think that I would kiss Chloe because I know her mm. and she's Chloe. Mm -hmm. um, I think I would. Avoid Francesca because I know her the least out of the three. And I would marry Chase because when I talk shit and people want to beat me up, Chase is bigger than I am. So uh, I would imagine Chase may fight someone. Ta-da. But you never talk shit, though. We only oh, talk uh, shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I really don't. I, really I gotta don't. listen to the podcast, huh? No. Yeah, what do you think nice we're doing here? Nice one on like, yeah, fuck this guy. He's actually a piece no, of shit. Whatever we say no, is a lie. No. We're like bringing out Netflix's biggest slut. No. <laughs> Oh my god, no! Nice. I would take that. I'm I would take that kidding. crown. I would be happy with that. You were like, yes. That's yeah, me. I would be happy with that. Yeah. This is Harry. You got to give the princess wave. Is it in that? Like elbow, elbow, wrist, oh, it, wrist. Harry, it was beautiful, iconic, and legendary to have your ass here today. Um, <laughs> where can we find you on social media? And what are you? What are you doing? Where can um, we look at uh, all of it? My name is Harry Jazzy. You can find me at Harry Jazzy. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Uh, working on a bunch of acting stuff. So hopefully you see me in a movie soon. Uh, very exciting. Uh, but yeah, just uh, 
I have, I have my weekly uh, dating show on Spotify live. So if you want to come hang out, you can come on stage and talk to me. But you guys are actually really good at this. There's a lot of hey, podcasts really? that, that I've been on where they're just like, uh, I'm like, no, you guys are really good. You should yeah. be proud of yourself. Well, you're lucky we were nice to you. I wanted to ask you some, I wanted to get some more sound bites, no, but I was, we were no. really nice too. So this podcast episode has been perfect. Thank uh, you. You're perfect. No, this one, she's really angry. Nice. Yeah. She's I angry. was really nice. <laughs> you were. You know what? I still have you here. I can ask you these questions, no, Harry. No, I'm kidding. No. Where can we find you on social media, Savannah? You can usually find me in the streets. Oh, but if I'm not in the streets. Apparently not. You can, you can find me uh, <laughs> online at Sav Palacio on Instagram, Twitter, and on the YouTube. What about you, Courtney? On the YouTube? <laughs> on the YouTube. <laughs> you can uh, follow me at Court Revolution on Twitter. And Is that actually your last name? No. Oh. It's, it's was... my stage name. I was trying to figure it out for so long. I was like, that's such a like interesting last name. I wonder when they invented that. Like, Not invented. You're so handsome. It was the first revolution. Wow. You can find me at Court Revolution. It's a good thing you're handsome, Mary. <laughs> you can find me <laughs> at Court Revolution on TikTok and Twitter and Courtney Revolution on Instagram. Wow. Um, And follow the Homecoming Queens podcast at... Aren't, don't, don't, aren't you supposed to do this? And follow the Homecoming Queens podcast at Homecoming Queens Pod on TikTok and Instagram. Watch every episode of the Homecoming Queens podcast on our new YouTube channel, Homecoming Queens Pod. Rate, review, and subscribe. You know what to do. I don't need to say it again. You hear it every week. Rate, review. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Homecoming Queens is part of the Eve Podcast Network and a Forever Dog production. Executive producer, Tracy Soren. Engineer, producer, and editor, Clementine Yost. Theme song by Will Pitts. Cover photo by Stephanie Sayas. Forever Dog Productions is Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Brett Boehm. 